Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make poisson roussel the Haitian way. Let's start with the cleaning process. If you're from the Caribbean, you already know that we don't fill it out of fish. So here's how we clean it. So this one here, first of all you'll check and see if there's any scale. You'll use your knife and then remove any scale. And then, after you do that, you will cut this little wing thing here. Um, I forgot how you call it. But you will remove this. You will also remove this. Cut it off. And, um, and you go inside. You remove this here on the inside. And also this. This is how we clean it. We take this off. We cut this off. And then also on the inside of the mouth of the fish, you know, you remove this with your knife. Cut it off. So this one is already done. So as you can see, this is removed. And uh, as well as this too, you cut this off. You know, you cut the tip off. This one still has it. Okay. And then on the inside. You remove the, the stomach lining. Okay, there's this one. The stomach lining is removed. And then we go, you know, the, the little tip, this that was here. This thing here. It has been cut off. I wish I had my other hand to show you guys how to do it. But um, I'm holding the camera. And then so, you know. You go like this. So this is removed and inside the lining this here there's a thick membrane you need to remove it. See? This this white thing here. You need to remove it. And this is how you clean your fish. Then now we're gonna add um, some lime juice. Um, if the fish was not cut in half already, I would um, like sl slice it. That way the seasoning would go in there. But what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to poke it and then just pour the seasoning. That way I don't have to, the fish is not going to be falling apart. Okay, so we're just going to put some um, lime juice and a little bit of salt. Just to wash it. This fish tends to smell, um, you know, feel fishy smell. So you want lots of lime juice that way it removes that smell. And then you would go on the inside here too. And you would wash the inside. Inside the fish. And then as well as the the tail, you sometimes you'll have a little bit of scale like gray right here. So you use your knife and you remove that. Okay, so this is basically the the cleaning part. I had many requests on you know how do you clean how do you clean a fish and this is how you do it. The Haitian way. When you're cleaning the tail, make sure you you screw you basically put use the knife and then um, go like this. Remove any scale on the tail. And also, there's this spot right here. They call it the it's like the vagina, the genital part of the fish. And then what you do, you have to cut it open, and then now uh, remove this in here. So I think this one was the male or something. So, yeah, that's what. So now we're gonna rinse the fish to remove the acidity that we used to clean it from it. And then we're gonna add grandma's sauce. About, um, about half a cup. 
Well, I grew up in Haiti, and we would go spend our Easter vacation in the Provence side of Haiti at my grandma's house. She lives by the beach, and um, and I love it there. Oh my gosh, you can hear the the ocean and everything. And then sometimes we would sit, um, we would sit on the balcony. watch the fishermen my grandma she would always buy a uh, poisson rose what we call red snapper she loves it so that's basically what we're doing here we are putting in the ingredients to marinate it Whatever other, um, I know some people like to use uh, Old Bay, but like I said, I'm breastfeeding my daughter, so I like to use natural, natural ingredients. And with this, basically, you would be done with it, but I like to add a little bit of texture. So we're just going to put um, some parsley, some thyme. I have some garlic there too, but first we have some green bell pepper and we add the thyme, thyme and butter. Well, garlic and uh, butter. Oops. Okay. Add that there, and then we're gonna squeeze some lime juice. You don't want to put too much lime because you don't want like a uh, sour. Um, sauce you know you just want it um, just perfect so I'll say one more you know one whole line lime juice and then we're gonna add a little bit of salt Just because it's called Passon Gosel doesn't mean that it has to be salty. <laughs> okay, don't make that mistake. Okay, that's good. Perfect. And now we're just going to make, make sure that everything gets together and mix it. It looks pretty already, guys. My shadow is not showing you guys what's going on but it looks it looks good it looks good and then we're just gonna let this marinate and um and then uh then i'm gonna show you the cooking process i know some people are having a hard time with the um you know the fish eyes i have no problem with it you know if you have a problem with it you can always remove it but um I actually like it, you know, when it's cooked after you boil it, especially with when you make um, poisson gosel, uh, the eyes is, is succulent, you know, it's really good. So, so just make sure you guys, um, I let this marinate. And like I said, you would be done because um, well some people like to add lots of onions right now I don't have any onions and also the grandma sauce has onions in it so you know the onions is just made like basically for the taste and um, maybe some people use it for decoration as well but it's it becomes saggy at the end so it doesn't really matter so and also the sauce has onions so basically the only thing like like that's not showing that you guys can't see is the onions but there is onions in there <laughs> hopefully I mix it this makes sense okay guys thanks for watching now we're gonna pour some oil
sides of me, I separate them. On the side, we're just gonna let it not really fry, but leave it in the oil for like five minutes. And then after that, we're gonna put the, the sauce, the everything that we use to marinate the fish. And also, since the fish was in the marinade, it's, um, it has all the, it's already seasoned, basically. So this is just coating the meat, so all the juices can stay inside. And then we're gonna boil this on like very very low um, I'll say about medium me medium low that way it's just it's cooking on the inside and on the outside it's not just falling apart but it's really you know it's it's cooked well and then we're just gonna cover this this is gonna be yummy I like it spicy but not too spicy so I'm gonna add some jalapeno pepper in there. You can add scotch bonnet, whatever you whatever um bone whatever pepper you have. Um or if you don't like any, you know, if you don't like it spicy, you don't have to add any. The fish is almost ready. I'm gonna add some, um, we call it shallots. I'm not sure how they call it in English, but we're just gonna add that in there. And the, those are from Haiti, they are very delicious. It seems like everything that grows in Haiti is, is good, you know. I'm not trying to not just because it's my country but it's just a fact so instead of um, like turning flipping the fish around it's best to just put the sauce on it now I'm gonna add a cup of water when you're adding water make sure you add it to the side not directly on the fish. So you need a nice bath of water for the fish. Because the sauce is going to be awesome. You can move this to the side. Keep hitting it for us. In this, in this case, you don't have to worry about overcooking the fish because that's really what you want. You want it to fall off the bone. 